Yeah, hello again YouTube. I'm back from KCTCS with my repaired engine here in the back of my Prius. Still all taped up from where they purged it. Uh, you know, pulling this thing out of here with one hand ain't exactly easy. That's all right. This is for you guys. Oh, yeah. Get the old engine back in line here. Got to get this thing back and going. Oh, I'll leave it right there for now. I've got to uh, transfer some fuel from my liquid tank to my little vapor tank. And right now, I'm looking for my big crescent wrench, and there it is. I knew it was hid somewhere around here. And then we'll get the engine remounted and get everything piped back up. So, make sure that the fuel is off, valves are closed, everything's in a safe situation, the switch is off, adjust the old wrench. Remember this is left hand thread, so we do a, a lefty tidy and a righty loosey instead of a righty tidy and a lefty loosey. And now put on my adapter. For this setup that I've got for self refilling my tank. Get that bumped up there nice and snug. No need to tighten it down with the force of 2,000 metric tons or whatever. Now get this adapter in place and check it for leaks sucker had a flow limiting valve built into it so I wasn't getting the flow through it so I drill that sucker out ah no leaks ah we have liquid okay now let's get down here Safety shield in place. Get everything hooked up. Now all these standard propane fittings I have drilled out so that you can get the maximum flow through them. Also remove the Schrader valve from here, so it just comes out. The valve is the only restriction. And let's see, where's the end of the hose fitting? Put that in there. Get this tightened up. This normally takes two hands because there's two pieces. This lower section allows you to tighten up ah. okay open up the few the liquid valve this is closed yep open up the valve to this tank open the fill port monitor And I'll start feeding some liquid in. Oh. Yeah. As soon as you get a steady stream of uh, vapor out of that, that little tank will be full. This shouldn't take too awful long now that I've got the restriction out of the way. No need to turn it up too much. Don't want to waste all that. Ah. And we are full. 
I did a better job filling it up last night. I sat out here for a cotton pick in 45 minutes trying to fill this thing. This entire hose was frosted white and still wasn't getting any liquid out the uh, full indicator. I can't think, what in the fuzz is going wrong here? Yeah. I'm going to have to set the camera down, enjoy some uh, flat gap skyline. We've got some rain moving in. Today is going to be the last pretty day for the next three or four days. Well, that was fun. Okay, close the valve here, finish bleeding off there, and got to grab the wrench, it's underneath the camera here, uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not, that's going to sit there or fall off. Yeah, it's sitting there. I've got no idea what kind of picture you guys are getting because I can't see the screen. I just wanted to kind of keep this video going. Take loose my tank refill. It's nice being able to do my own uh, refill on my running fuel tank. And it only holds a pint, so that's not taking that much out of this liquid tank. I think this thing holds 16 gallons, 15 gallons, something like that. It's a 30 pound tank. So you can kind of do the math there at four and a quarter pounds per gallon for liquid propane. Okay, now we are connecting the starting fuel line up and it is connected the starting fuel valve is closed the running fuel valve is closed the uh, vapor full indicator on the valve is snug down We've got one on this liquid tank too of course it's snug down so yes i am ready to start mounting the engine and uh, I'll try to rig the camera up here to where I can see what's going on. You guys can see what's going on. Let me see what kind of a view that gives. Uh, okay, I can, I can see that. That's not going to give you a real good view of, of what's going on, but hey, better than nothing. Okay. Here we come with the with the big kahuna. Oops. Gotta put me a couple of lock washers on here. And slide this into the front engine mount. it into place. Oh boy, I hope that'll hold on its own. I'm going to take a chance. If that thing falls, the camera's probably going to go and the engine's going to go and everything will go and then I'll go and then we can all go. Uh, let's see. see. Wrenches, bolts, washers, rear mounting, plant, Rear engine mount, ring, which is what we've got right here. Snap that back into place. Get our mounting bolt. 
get it pushed through the swing joint. Get uh, five sixteenths inch stainless steel nut snugged up. washer in place ready to tighten up got the two three eighths or nine sixteenths inch well you know what I mean three eighths nuts get my lock washers installed on the forward engine mount that you guys cannot see right now so you just have to continue with the narration as best you can And, well, at least the engine's not going to fall off the frame now. I don't think. Okay. All right, that one's down. This one tighten down. I need to do a little more by hand on that, and it's going to take forever. There we go. Come on. Let's not have none of that. Okay. I remember to tighten that spark plug. Let me do that while I'm thinking about it here. Use the old 12 inch crescent wrench tighten it up as far as it'll go in another four turns that ought to be tight enough <laughs> yeah yeah okay that's good and seated go ahead and hook up the ignition wire now we've got to hook up the Oh boy, I really need to clean that. It's got some melted duct tape on it where he did the welding. Uh, I'm going to have to get a wire brush and clean that up before I put that back on there. But I can go ahead and put the uh, bottom fuel line back up. It's still got any C's compound on it, so... main prerequisite oh, yeah. going rather nicely almost there actually I'm just banging the wrench against metal so you think I'm doing something <laughs> Okay, now get up here to the business end where the solenoids at. Get this one tightened back up, sealed. I uh, need a backup wrench. Where's my backup wrench? No, that's not it. I'm just left it back here. Oh, there it is. 